nobody's perfect. <laughs> Let's just start there now. Nobody's perfect. You're gonna have successes in the journey. You're gonna have high points, peaks, uh, you know, getting over things. But I think you will always have more mistakes made or failures on the journey then you are going to have successes and i think a lot of those mistakes and failures are important because you wouldn't achieve those high heights that you reach or the successes without all the failures without all the mistakes without all the, the sort of bumps in the road that we've experienced so today you know i think the big focus obviously is to make the most of this year to make the most of the coming semester to to really maximize and put yourself in the best possible position and you know for that we're essentially just going to take some time to go back and sort of learn from last year's mistakes in order to make our year the best year possible and how do you exactly go about that <laughs> that's what we're going to chat about today so yes 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 we all make mistakes <laughs> every every single person in this world does and that's okay once again that's okay very 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 important to understand that and i think my first starting point my first conversation for this video is let's normalize it being okay to make mistakes let's i think we need to change the narrative that a lot of us have that mistakes are bad that failure is bad avoid failure you know you can't no 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 guys you can't fail failing is bad mistakes are bad um everything needs to be perfect i think let's abolish that mindset now already because it's so important to understand that in any journey in this world in any you know whatever sort of process you're busy with or whatever you're working towards it's so so important to understand that mistakes will be made uh failures will happen and that is okay guys that is okay if anything it's important so i think when we're looking back on what happened last year we're looking back through a positive lens through a lens of not necessarily judgment or critical analysis or you know any of that but we're looking back with the lens of it was okay, but how can I learn? I think that's so important. So get that right lens in. And also know that failures do not define you. You are not defined by your results, by your failure, by anything that's happened. That's so important because if you let your failures or all your negatives define you, then it's gonna pull you down. And you know, we don't wanna be pulled down in this journey because if you are aspiring for massive things, for big things for your own life, for the life of those around you it's so important for you to have the right fuel within your system and negative thoughts negative self-talk and sort of negative images that keep on reverberating in your mind are not going to help you and that's why always looking back and focusing back on your failures Focusing back on the fact that maybe you're repeating the semester, you're repeating the year, you're repeating modules. Maybe you were not consistent last year. Maybe you procrastinated a lot. Maybe you weren't a you know great student. Maybe you made mistakes in your personal life. Whatever happened, like in your sort of relationship life, your social, physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever happened, guys, it doesn't define you. So get that in your mind as a foundation as well for just going through this process of learning from last year's mistakes so 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 important so now getting into it i think you need to take some time you need to take some time to just sit down and i'd advise sitting down with a pen paper or a laptop whatever you use to sort of just write things down but sit down guys and it takes this time out so important to just go through last year you know go through last year and i think even within academics specifically just pinpoint exactly you know which areas you made mistakes in, which areas you failed in, your weak areas the stuff that you didn't do well maybe you didn't plan your time maybe you didn't 
you know studying enough leading up to exams and you were sort of so packed with or overwhelmed with work that you know you couldn't study as much as you wanted you know, sort of understand your pain points understand all these different areas and write them down please 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 you have to write them down because if you don't write them down you don't solidify them and the lesson does not come out so write every single one down make a list comprehensive list of all these sort of areas that you need to work on very important because this this helps you get guidance in understanding exactly where you struggle and you'll find that a lot of these areas overlap perhaps you'll find that a common theme is procrastination a common theme is lack of planning a common theme is poor execution a common like there's so many themes that you'll find so you cannot find them if you don't write down all these different areas list them down for yourself and after you've written them down read through them i mean just take time to just look at every single reason you've listed read through them slowly read through them to understand and i'd say as well even if you can get a get a second opinion get a second sort of view someone who you heavily trust who understands you as well to sort of help you further understand what your weaker areas are you know have them sort of tell you where they feel you lacked in the past year where they in a, in a constructive way where they feel that you could have improved what they feel that you can improve on it's so important to understand this guys i think and having just that that external perspective someone who really knows you who deeply cares about you who wants the best for you uh i think it's important to get this perspective for yourself as well so spend that time in laying that foundation out for yourself uh so that you better understand you know what happened last year and i think for this year you're laying a solid foundation to know where you need to improve the things you need to work on and it gives you that direction to make this 2024 your year guess what <laughs> you'll never believe it never believe it but i made a second channel yes yes guys i made a second channel just chatting all things sort of self-development and i think helping you on your journey and you know i think it's more general content but specifically is going to help you a lot outside university uh, into the rest of your life i just thought you know what uh i've provided so much content here in varsity but there's so much more things i think the journey is so long so yes guys leave a subscription for my second channel as well do check out some of the videos there very high quality you know my standard and yeah let's continue with the video and now in, in, in continuing just building on that now we need to sort of make positive uh, steps we need to understand the tangible things that we can actually do in making all this materialize for ourselves because it's one thing just writing all the weak areas all the things we can improve on how we can improve where we need to improve it's easy doing that that's sort of the easier part but now it's turning those things into you know actual sort of things we can apply sort of things we we need to do i think steps we need to take most importantly so in doing that i think now take all those points and from those points link out actionable steps link out actionable steps that you can take in order to improve these areas and i'll make an example let's say maybe in the past you didn't study in advance you didn't study in advance maybe because of poor planning or because of a lot of procrastination and now the steps that you can take this year is essentially first of all planning out the semester making sure you know what's happening in the semester second of all when you get an assignment start as soon as possible that weekend you know set a specific date and uh starts you know sort of concurrently study whilst you know the lectures are being taught you know be active in doing your homework be active in doing assignments be active in being attentive in lecture in, in in lectures sorry i think you know having sort of definite steps that you need to take this year in order to improve on what happened last year i think this sort of linking 
these steps to what happened last year is so important because the better you link it, the better you improve on what happened last year and sort of the better you your prospects at making this year a fantastic year and absolutely killing it academically and in your own personal life as well. So, you know, I think this is a bit of a template for you to have, you know, in how to go about, you know, deriving that list and understanding what went wrong to making a sort of actionable plan for yourself. And I think the last step here, <laughs> literally, is executing is getting it done because it's all well to have all this stuff on paper and it's nice it's fantastic but if you don't actually do it you're not going to go anywhere and it's not going to help you essentially it's going to be a useless exercise if you don't sort of keep those even those actionable steps i'd say just put them up on the wall have them up there on the wall so that you always know what you need to be doing and always remind yourself on a daily weekly basis that these are the things i can guys i can't forget about these things on my wall i need to get them done so have them up on your wall and execute now every single day show up get it done be serious about it because unless you execute then all of this is going to be redundant it's going to be useless to make the most of this exercise always remind yourself show up every single day have it on your wall revisit them as often as possible and get it done get it done every single you know throughout the year be consistent all the way until you know november december whenever you finish so if you can do this you know exercise obviously there's a lot of things that i'm sharing on my channel but if you can do this specific thing <laughs> i promise you guys this year is going to be a fantastic year for you it's going to be an improved year from last year and I think you're going to really sort of reach a lot of areas and goals that you have for yourself. Obviously, as long as they're realistic. Uh, so please, please, please apply this in your own journey. And, you know, you don't have to know exactly how I've laid it out. But find your own way. Find what works for you. But you need to start creating systems for yourself this year. You need to create systems that work and stick to those systems. I think that's the hardest thing and 99% of people don't do this you know they don't do it fully they don't fully create systems for themselves and apply those systems so important so I want to get you guys on this journey to already start making these systems for yourself and understand the things you need to do the behavior you need to partake in the habits that you need to develop for yourself that you can just really just make the most of this semester and just get those results that you deeply see for yourself. So I hope this has helped. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button, please, because that's how I know that you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next one, let's continue on our journey in creating a better world. Um.